Hello, this is X Factor Legend Wagner, and I'd like to welcome you all to the Just J Club YouTube channel, home of the best Grand Theft Auto content. Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Vapid Retinue Mark II which was just released with the Casino Heist DLC. Now this vehicle is very, very good looking, um, obviously based on an old school Escort or something of that nature. Um, it's very expensive at $1.6 million. You can get it at a trade price at $1.2 million but unfortunately I haven't unlocked that so I am going to be have to purchase it for 1.6 million so hopefully it's going to be worth my dough so pulling into LS Customs you'll see the Vapid Retinue Mark II is in the sports classic category so with any further ado let's crack on with this build straight away armor 100% body armor then we've got the brakes we're going to get the race brakes for the bumper front bumper we get loads of different options for the bumper we've got the no bumper rally bumper track bumper street bumper Racing with splitter and racing lip with the intercooler and that is fucking insane. What the hell is that? Uh, yeah. Words escape me to explain what that might be. I don't <laughs> I don't get that one. That's that's weird as fuck. Yeah, so I definitely will be getting that one. This one isn't too bad. The racing splitter oil cooler. That's um you know, different. Not too out there. It's quite nice. Uh, the street bumper's alright. The track bumper, uh, I'm not sure about the splitter supports that are on there, it looks a little bit funky. Um, that one's alright, the rally bumper is cool, the no bumper is pretty cool as well. Um, I actually like the no bumper, to be fair, I think the no bumper looks looks the nicest, so I'm going to go with that bad boy. Rear bumper, we just get a carbon diffuser, which, why the hell not, let's grab it. We've got the engine, we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade, then we've got fenders, so we've got the carbon arches. The rally arches, oh, they're pretty cool, I like that, squares it off quite nicely. We get the secondary rally, the street arches, wow, now they look fucking sweet, I love that. The street arches look really good man. Uh, then we get the secondary street arches and then the carbon, nah, that looks weird, you've ruined it with that, <laughs> ruined it with that. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just going to get the standard street arches. Then we're going to move to the grill. We get the... Okay, so this isn't even a grill change by the looks of it. It's just the housing around the headlights. So why put it in a category called grills? Hmm. Rockstar logic, I suppose. Um, yes. Yeah, so we are going to... I might go primary housing, actually, with this. Or carbon. No, we'll go, go primary housing. Yeah, looks good, man. So then we do get an option for headlights. And it's going to be... Oh, so we get to tape them. Right. Um, I don't understand why they've made that in a separate category. Why didn't they put it with the housing and give you different options under the category headlights? Weird, man. Real weird. But these two options, not a fan. So I'm going to stay none for the headlights. Then we've got the hood. Uh, loads of options for the hood by the seams of it. So we've got no hood. Not a fan on no hoods with, you know unless it's a, a muscle car or a hot rod or something of that nature um, on these types of vehicles I think they look a little bit strange especially when the textures of the engine aren't that great uh, so then we get the lifted which oh yeah I see so yeah it's got a lifted vent just just very subtly then we get the dual vented then the rally the race the carbon race, the performance hood, and the carbon performance hood, and that's it. Uh, the performance hood actually looks okay. Um, not sure if I want to go for that one though. Uh, I think my favourite was the race hood, so we're going to go with the race hood. Next we've got lights, we're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Then we've got liveries, so we've got loads of options for liveries as we always do. We get the basic stripes as we always do. And we've got uh, the Vapid Classic. That actually looks quite cool. Not always a massive fan of liveries, but subtle ones like that look alright. I mean, I think that looks okay. And then we've got the rally ones, like the racing liveries now coming into play. Uh, not a fan of really any of any type of racing livery. Um, 
but I do want to switch up a little bit and I actually like this Vapid Classic. So I am going to get it. Next we're going to move to the respray. We're going to go primary colour and because we do have that livery we're going to stay classic for this because if we get a metallic it's going to give it a pearlescent shine and that will transfer onto the livery and then it looks all sorts of fucked up. So what colour will we, will we go for? As we've got red, white and black in the livery we kind of need to go for something which isn't one of those colours. <laughs> so um, definitely not lime green man, definitely not. But we need something to go with the three colours in the livery. I mean, if if it's that, actually, I don't know. I actually like this gasoline green on this. That looks pretty sweet. So I'm going to remove that livery. Quickly go back on what I, on what I was saying about how much I liked it. <laughs> then pretend I never said anything. Go to respray primary colour. We're going to go metallic, and I'm going to get gasoline green in metallic. Oh, there it is. Old school colour for an old school vehicle, and I think it looks fucking awesome. Secondary colour, we're also going to go metallic gasoline green. And there you go. Like I said, I think that colour, especially in metallic, looks so good on that car. So good. Then we've got roll cages. Uh, we get the street half cage. Then we've got the dash dodgers, the padded dash dodger, the full roll cage, and the padded full roll cage. Um, not a fan of the padded ones, no matter what type of roll cage it is. But I'm... Um, in more in favour of the half cages than I am the full cage, so I'm going to go the street half cage. And I'm thinking now, if I go to respray and change the secondary colour, is it going to change the um, roll cage colour? Because if it does, then I'm which it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I was going to say I will change it up, maybe to like a black or something for the roll cage, but the secondary colour doesn't change the roll cage anyway. So. Ah, oh, to hell with that idea. Then we've got the roof. Uh, we've got the racing scoop. The rally scoop. Which is insanity. The street scoop. I don't like any of these types of scoops. on the on, Especially on you know, old school vehicles like this. I think race scoops in general are very tasteless. Um, but especially on cars like this. It doesn't really, doesn't really go in my opinion. Uh, but we do get some sun strips which is awesome. And what the fuck is that? What the hell is that for a sun strip? Can he even see? What the fuck, man? Look how low it is. That is nuts. I'm going to go first person. Right, okay. In first person, you, you can actually see. It's a very limited amount, but when you come out, that just looks ridiculous. Look how big it is. It almost comes halfway down the bloody windshield. <laughs> What rocks are think of when they designed that? Just cut it a little bit off the bottom. I mean, if they can't cut, you know, make it a little bit smaller, just don't put it in at all. That looks ridiculous. Damn. That's that's baffled me. <laughs> Why they would make it so big? Oh well, in that case, because the sun strip is ginormous and uh, roof scoops are really horrible, I'm gonna stay none for the roof. Then we've got the spoiler. So we've got a ducktail, we've got the primary ducktail, street wing, vapid racing wing, the sports wing, and the vapid rally wing. It's definitely a toss up between the rally wing and the primary ducktail. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the rally wing. I think it's just got the edge, in my opinion. Suspension, no. <laughs> with the Asbo, it's, it slammed it and it gave it some enormous camber and um, I've got a feeling it's going to do the same with this one and it does but the camber's not as obnoxious as what it was on the Asbo which is good to see but the camber is still extreme real extreme but you do the sports suspension and it's still quite low and the camber is a little more subtle, which is which is good. Um, I don't really know if I want the competition suspension or not, though. Because even though the camber is really extreme on this, it's not as far gone as the Asbo. Um, but I'm still not a massive fan of it, so I am going to go sports suspension. Transmission, we're going to get the race transmission, turbo tuning, and then the wheels. 
these wheels aren't anything special so I will be changing them up we are gonna go in the muscle category I think uh, chrome rims even the classic rods look good the Farley's look good the Spooner look good all these wheels look good on this vehicle I actually really like them Spooner ones especially in chrome they look awesome yeah man let's do it let's get the Spooner Spooner rims in chrome from the muscle category uh, then we've got uh, yeah, we'll get the bulletproof tyres while we're here. Oh, I'd already purchased for some reason. Strange. And then we're going to go windows and purchase the light smoke window tint to finish off. And that's it, my dudes. As we pull out, obviously it's night time. It always fucking is when I'm on PlayStation 4. Um, doing customization videos. Always night time. Uh, LJT can go suck a dick. But this car is really nice looking. I love the styling of this. I love the customization you can do on it. Uh, them rims, I've actually never really re really realized how nice they are. And they suit this car amazingly. So I'm really happy with the customization of it. It sounds awesome. Um, it, the acceleration is real good. The um, It feels like it could be quite fast as well. So it's going to be a quick car. Um, in the sports classics obviously so not much competition um, so I'd say maybe in the top 10 the handling actually feels really responsive and solid doesn't feel too heavy maybe a little bit on the heavy side but it's nothing to really worry about so yeah good acceleration good speed good handling um, really good customization the price is a little bit expensive but um, I can see past that I think this is definitely one of the better cars that Rockstar have released with the highest DLC on you know on the day it, it being not not one of the drip feed cars um, you know one of the day released um, DLC vehicles I think it's one, probably one of the best one of the best looking at least um, but it's really really nice to drive it's fun to drive it doesn't feel like it's a chore in any sort of way so yeah I'm really happy with it um, Again, the price tag is way up there, so that's something that you'd have to take in consideration whether you'd actually want to spend that sort of money on a pretty standard car. It's nothing special, but it is it is nice. Um, but yeah, I think on that note, I'm going to leave the video where it is. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.